The areas include Babylon, Havana, Extension 1 and 3, Okahanja Park, One Nation, Ongulumbashe, as well as Oshomuthe Extension 6 and 7. Speaking at the occasion, Nampawa Managing Director Kahenge Haulofu said the company has committed to contribute towards the improvement of the living conditions of residents in informal settlements. We are privileged to be part of this opportunity with the city of Benduk for the realization of a life-changing initiative such as this one. We further believe that the extension of electricity infrastructure to these areas will, be elect will, will directly improve the lives of our people uh, in need. It is Nampawa's hope that a tangible difference will be made in the lives of the beneficiaries and our fellow country citizens. The scope of work for the electrification project includes the construction of medium to low voltage networks, installation of street lights and individual household connections. After completion, Nampower will hand over the electricity infrastructure to the city of Vantuk. City of Vantuk Chief Executive Officer Robert Kahimithe says the project will reduce the city's backlog in the provision of electricity to its inhabitants. The reality is we are facing a backlog in the informal settlement for this basic commodity which is electricity. Mr. Ulofu, the city of Windhoek welcomes uh, heartily with open arms. I recall when Mr. Ekanjo approached myself, there is such a proposal coming from Nampawa. It's actually long overdue, the electrification of Perry Eben. The project to be funded by Nampawa at a cost of $15 million is expected to be commissioned towards the end of August. Franklin Muningirwa, NBC News, Vanduk.